Hi, this is Margot Poro from the Western Canadian Learning Network. Thanks to place value, any number can be made with just 10 digits from 0 to 9. What is the relationship between digit places and their value? Let's take a look using numbers with up to 10 places. Whole number digits are arranged in groups of three called periods. Each period always has ones, tens, and hundreds. And to make it easier to read numbers, a space is used between each group of three. The first group of three is called the units period. After the hundreds, you start another period, or group of three, that you are probably familiar with, the thousands period. When the units period is full and you pass 999, you move to the thousands period. The pattern of ones, tens, and hundreds continues with one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. Beyond the thousands is the millions period, and it has one millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. Even bigger than the millions are the billions, which again follow the same pattern. Did you know that in Canada and most of the world no commas are used in numbers? Our numbers look like this. Only the United States and a couple of other countries in the world use commas. Canada uses international rules for the metric system. When a numeral has more than four digits, we use a space between every group of three, working from right to left. Place value helps us to know the value of a number. Take a look at 5,521,753,888. Each five in this number has a different value. This five is in the ones place, so it has a value of five ones, or simply five. What is this five worth? It is in the ten thousands place, so it is worth fifty thousand. Count the number of places to the right of it. One, two, three, four. That tells us how many zeros to add after the five when giving its value. This five is in the hundred millions place. Its value is five hundred million. There are eight places to the right of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you have to give its value, write down the five and add eight zeros. The last five is in the one billions place. It is worth five billion. Let's use a place value chart to explore another really large number. Five billion six hundred eighteen million four hundred twenty three thousand nine hundred seven. We can put the number into the chart, starting with the smallest place value in this number, the ones place. The seven is in the ones place. It is worth seven ones, or simply seven. Next is the very important zero. Why is zero so important? It's used as a placeholder. It tells us that there are zero tens, so we can move on to the hundreds. What about the nine? Because the nine is in the hundreds place of the unit period, it has a value of nine hundred. The next group of three numbers is all in the thousands period. Read the group of three together, followed by the word thousand, like this, 423,000. What does the digit three stand for? 3,000, so it goes in the thousands place. Two is in the ten thousands place, so it stands for 20,000. What is the value of the four? The four has a value of 400,000. After thousands, comes millions, one millions, ten millions, hundred millions, a space, and then billions. Read the group of three digits in the millions period together, followed by the word million, like this. 618 million. The eight represents eight million. The eight is followed by six zeros, just like there are six places after the millions on the chart. The digit one fits in the ten millions place on the chart. It has a value of ten million. The six is worth six hundred million, and the largest digit in this number, shown by being furthest to the left, is five billions. It's the tenth digit to the left, starting with the ones. What is the value of five billion? A five followed by nine zeros. Now you have seen the relationship between digit places and their values. Thank you for watching this tutorial.